Hello friends of music, this is Makoto from Makoto's World, and oh, welcome back to another album review. Today, Hagane, with their album Code 9021. This is a female harmonic metal band from Japan, Tokyo, and they were formed in 2018. And they have released with this album their first full length, length studio album. Uh, they have one EP and two singles with some other songs on it. So they're a really young band and also they're still independent. And I would say we start with track one, Fly Infinitely. Uh, the first instrumental, basically intro. This one surprised you because it's nothing like you expected from a metal band it's more it started really calm or really uh, has a really j-pop feel with the electronic part with the strings and the sound but then a beautiful guitar solo that introduced the rock side you guys and this this was so beautiful it was like i ear candy because it's so beautiful played and that's why i really love this as the intro completely surprised you and then phew, and then here we go with track number two, Gun Walk. The title is perfect. It really has the, this feel. It's like traveling. So it's fast song. It has for me heavy metal, hard rock elements. The guitar is driving. The song is driving. It has great vocals. In general, the vocals are perfectly and really uh, versatile. From a classic sound to enormous sound. She really uh, has amazing tone. And especially harmonize here when uh, the other band members sing. It's so it's so beautiful and uh, a great guitar solo. The guitar solos are so good, so always melodic, always powerful, always have a classic feel. And then it changes completely with Black Cold, uh, which goes in a power metal direction. And first, this was the first song I've heard from them, and immediately uh, remind me of Love Bites, of course. Really beautiful voice how she sings it, it's like a different singer almost like the gun walk and then this how she changed the voice to more classical feel it's this what i love about power metal you have this heavy sound this driving guitars and then you have the this calm epic voice of course in the chorus we have typical going the high register with the vocals and up so it's everything there it's really a power metal song so yeah this is a classic bow metal where everything bounces. On track four, we we shifting the direction again with Super Willen, uh, which gives me the first metal core elements with the electronic parts, the uh, the vocal effects. I love again a completely different vocal sound for me, a voice sound. But then the hard guitars came in and really bring. Uh, it has great riffs. It has a catchy chorus and cyberpunk vibes and this definitely then track five flying circus is for me a classic hard rock song uh a really a feel this catchy riffs upbeat expert is really upbeat really say yeah I have a positive feel to it and rock and roll so i have rock and roll uh and uh, the sol solo here is on point then suddenly surprised me in another instrumental with Twain, and the name says it all. No, it's really Twain. It's like hard rocking. It's so amazing. It's like now the you know band can show itself and walking out, and Twain is really do justice and amazing walking vibe. And then we came to track seven, Go Go Card. First, I when I've heard it, I had the feeling it could be for a game commercial or something. But it has the feel of Go Go Card like. A mobile game or some in Japan with gaming I mean yeah it has a feel but it has also a classic rock feel and for me a college rock the 2000 college rock uh, when, when I heard the, the, the how the guitars how, how she sings it also really gives me the ah oh, the this this old school college rock feel to it so really again different vibe and I love it uh, really could be for a game, maybe it's for it, because Go Go Kart sounds like something like that. And then, with uh, Memories, we have the Rock Ballad, which is freaking beautiful. 
there's everything there what I want to have in the ballad. We have amazing harmony, guitar, uh, vocals. Uh, we have a still wa a walking sound. It has this what I love when I have walk ballad. That's we have this still this heavy sound in the guitars or walking sound, and then the vocals really beautiful. Also, the sound on this album is so good. The instrumented, everything is clear to hear. The bass, the drums, the drumming is also fantastic. The sound is in all tracks so full and so perfect. It's like, like we're really ear candy. Everything is like perfect and and in balance. But when you then go deeper into it and listen to the entire entire instruments solo, you notice how amazing are what for little details there is. It's so good. It's really amazing band. And then we come to the another instrumental, Undersea Paranolia, uh, which starts really calm, a uh, really different, really classic with piano, with strings, more symphonic uh, way almost. And then it has also a great bass, the bass also fantastic. Yeah, and then, yeah, we have a mix between guitar and violins. And that's again something we have had, like the violins uh, playing together with the uh, guitar and a little bit violin solo. I know if that's like played with keyboard or with, um, you know, MIDI or if these are real violins, probably, I don't know. Again, beautiful solo, really heavy guitars here, really coming to it and a great mix, everything perfect. The solos really, the, the instrumentals are on point. And then with track 10, Sword of Judgment, uh, we have another fast pacing power metal song. Again, everything is there. We have piano in the back, mixing up. So that's why I say a little bit Love Bites elements or uh, what reminds me of Love Bites, but still they have their own sound, their own voice. And again, this is maybe one song that sounds like it, maybe the from the vibe, but then again, it's completely different. And that's what I love. Uh, with really strong drums here that but catch my ears. Um, great guitar and melodized riffs and the voice again really epic uh, like we had with Black Cold. So really she amazing vocalist. She really plays with the vocals for these songs to go more on a classical feel or more yeah theater theatralic feel and then the other songs normal or different so it's really cool and really um different sides you see from these band members it's great okay track 11 labradority is heavy metal heavy metal sound great guitars piano catchy really dreamy also it really put you in the mood and again there's everything now i know what i called harmonic metal because everything is in the harmonic everything is working so well together and it's like it's really a bless for your ears for everything i have listened to this album in one go and was like in the end oh, every song there was no song where i say okay i skipped this every song was held because it was such amazing sound feel like really bless and yeah this is another example of how all works together and once how there how there's a beautiful sound and then we have the last one the track 12 zero who is the longest song again a surprising intro with a church organ and the guitar playing together and really epic and then we go full on castlevania so so really a track on castlevania with the is this this is the instrument that bach used i believe and then it changed again to mid-tempo um, harmonic uh, metal song uh, with great solo, very melodic, very melodic song. And then again, it goes to the Castlevania sound. We really love it. Could then, then could be definitely intro for anime. So <laughs> we had the Castlevania anime, but really from the vibe, um, I really enjoy this. So yeah. And that's it. When I was finished, I said, this was perfect. I found my new favorite Japanese metal band, or in general, my new favorite metal band. Because all songs hitting me. All songs were like, I love all songs. What amazing band. The sound, everything. I say, 
they have a bright future. With this different sounds, they have an elements. And this is the first full-length album from them. And this is... Wow. I'm definitely a fan. You can say. This is now, this is an album. This makes me a fan. This is great. This is has classic uh, heavy metal, hard rock uh, sounds to it. But still refresh. Still, they have their sound. We say, okay, this is Hagane. It's amazing. It's amazing. Really great band. And again, a very young band. Existing since 2018. And I'm here for the future. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. When you also like this, support Hagane. Goodbye.